How do you motivate yourself to study for a math test? Ask yourself why you're taking the math test. Why are you even taking the class? Why are you here? Because you have to succeed on that test. You have to do well. Sure, it's a shame. You know, our educational systems, they put all of this pressure on testing. I think it's wrong. I think we should just have no grades and everyone should just go to college and just learn as much as possible. But unfortunately, there needs to be a way to measure success. And testing is the way that society as a whole has adopted. So what it comes down to is you have to do well on your test. You need to make it happen because this is your life. This is your one opportunity to do well. When you study for that test, don't just study what you covered in class. Study everything that could possibly be on that test. That is how you rock a test. Now, if you're an undergraduate student in college, you probably don't have to go that far. But if you ever get to grad school, that's what you have to do. That's what I did. You have to do all of your homework, and then you have to take books that aren't even for your class, and you have to do the problems in those books too. If that sounds insane to you, that's what it takes to succeed in the higher level math classes. So if you're taking like college algebra or statistics, and you employ even half of that strategy, so do all of your homework over all of your notes, and then do problems from other books, problems from the internet related to those sections, you will come out on top like a rock star. You will be awesome. So start studying right now. Just start doing it. Start doing problems. Just do problems and problems and problems. I used to do problems until my hand cramped, until I couldn't write anymore. That's what kept me from doing more math. The pain in my hands. I could feel the pain from writing with my pencil. I even ended up buying like little grippy things to put on my pens and pencils. I feel like thicker pencils are more gentle on the hands. That was usually my breaking point. Physical pain from doing so much math. If you're not feeling that physical pain yet, then you're not there. I mean, that may sound ridiculous, but that's when I had to stop. It was the physical pain from doing so many problems. Did I have to do that much math? Probably not. I'm a really obsessive person. They say you have to be obsessed when you want to succeed in something like math. And I think that's partly true. I think it really helps. I think if you have an obsessive personality and you're studying a really, really hard subject like math, that gives you a leg up. So start studying. Good luck on your test.